This is your CBS News Baltimore afternoon update for Thursday, December 7th. I'm Denise Koch. A Baltimore woman is sentenced to life in prison for the death of her four-year-old son. Shatika Lawson and her wife Alicia say Malachi, their son, was burned in a scalding hot bath. The women tried to treat the burns themselves, but the boy died a few days later. And then police say Alicia wrapped him in a blanket, took a lift to a dumpster and tossed him inside. Both women were charged in Malachi's death. Alicia Lawson is already serving 30 years in prison for her role. A Prince George's County police officer is acquitted of murder and other charges in the fatal shooting of a handcuffed man, Michael Owen. Michael Owen Jr. fatally shot William Green, 43, while the handcuffed man was sitting in the front seat of the officer's police cruiser. This was 2020. Owen testified that he acted in self-defense during a struggle in which Green tried to grab his gun. The Green family received $20 million from the county in a settlement. And Hanukkah begins at sundown tonight, and the Jewish community here in Baltimore is getting ready. So tonight, the ceremony to light the Baltimore menorah, which is at McKeldin Square, will begin at 6.30. The holiday honors the rededication of the temple in Jerusalem from the Assyrian Greeks back in 160 B.C. To commemorate the victory, the Jewish fighters used a small bit of oil they had to light a menorah. The holiday is celebrated for eight days to signify how long that oil kept burning. And that is your afternoon update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Denise Koch.